Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have a big money Bolo video for you guys. Now, it's gonna be a short one, I gotta warn you. Not a lot of big money Bolos going on right now. Um, I'm pulling from my money pile, I'm not sourcing. Um, I've been, gosh, we've been on lockdown. Our state probably, gosh, is it going on like a month and a half? Ah, I don't know, it's April 30th. Uh, this video probably will not post until like May or June. I'm so behind on posting videos, but, um, yeah, but it's April 30th today and I just hit 5,000 subscribers and I'm super excited about that. Thank you to everyone who has subbed to me and is like supporting the channel by watching and commenting. You guys are amazing. And I'm just so thankful for all of you. I'm super excited. So my channel, if you're new, is about items to be on the lookout for, bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, uh, items you can buy low and sell high. These are my higher bolos, items that sold for $30 or more. And again, I usually have more big money items, but I'm not sourcing. I'm sourcing from my money pile, I call it. A lot of people call it their death pile, but I don't like that term. I just don't like it. What do you guys call your pile? Is it your death pile? Is it your money pile? I've heard it called a profit pile. So comment below with what you call your inventory pile that is not listed. Um, I need to list it pile. Anyway, let's get started. I'm chit chatting way too much. You guys want to see the bolos. I'm going to start with a bolo item that um, on one of my other videos, it was at the end of the video and I forgot to pull up the screen share and it was of this beautiful doll and I'm gonna show it to you guys again because I'm talking about this doll and I forgot to pull it up on the screen share. So um, let me get the screen share up. So basically I forgot to do this. So this item I picked up at the Good Goodwill for $12.99. Um, she is beautiful. Uh, she was sitting like on the top shelf and I looked up and I was like, what? Like, she's just beautiful. But anyway, she's huge. Um, I have a picture on Instagram where she's like sitting in my cart. I mean, she's really, really big, but she's Pamela Earth and she's from 2003 and she was numbered 90 out of 300. And I was like, I have got to get this. I mean, she is so well made. I mean, she's beautiful. Just amazing. Um, but right here is where it's signed. And if you guys have not checked me out on Instagram, it's bolo underscore buddies underscore resellers. And I post like little videos of bolos and I try to do some different stuff over there. So definitely go check it out. But yeah, she sold one bid for $199.99 to Canada. And as I was telling you in the other video, I was so afraid to ship her because her arms are porcelain, her neck is porcelain, her face, her legs. <gasps> I bubble wrapped her like crazy, but she made it safely. So I'm happy to say I did a good job. All right, the next item. This was a bulk jewelry buy at a garage sale. I mean, it, was, it wasn't a huge lot, but it was a decent size lot. So I probably have less than a dollar in it. It was a lucky find, but you can see it's marked 14K Italy. And it's just a little um, angel. And I sold this for $50 plus shipping and it's not very big. I don't know there. You can see how big it is. It is teeny tiny. Um, so that's like a tape measure that like they use when they sew one of the soft ones that kind of, so if that helps any, but yeah, sold it for $50 plus shipping. And I had it for $74.80 just because I thought it was so cute. But um, I messaged uh, my moonstone mamas and i'm like do you think 50 is like a fair price she's like yes i would take it so if you guys are not checking out moonstone mama she has a great jewelry channel go check her out she's been helping me identify some of my gemstones so i really appreciate her um okay so this magic suit by miracle suit i picked this up a retail arbitrage off of a website um Back when I was selling clothing, I would retail arbitrage from clearance sales online. So this was end of season, didn't sell. I probably, I think some of them I paid 12 for and some of them I paid eight. Um, I took a best offer of $32 on this plus shipping, not huge margins. Again, with retail arbitrage, you're not gonna get those huge margins, but this is a $186 suit and I got 32 bucks for it. So. It's awesome. I have two left. It's a beautiful suit. 
If you guys are looking for a nice high quality suit, it's a plus size 24. Beautiful. So um, I've got two left. And these Bambi sheets. I picked these up at a thrift store. I think they were $2.50. I sold them for $35.20. And it's funny, the next three items I show you sold for $35.20. So what happened was I had them all listed for 40 and they all were 12% off and they bought them at full asking price. And I have best offer on everything. So maybe it was right after the sale like popped up. But yeah, these are vintage Bambi sheets and it's the whole sheet. And it did have some issues, like there's a stain there, there's a stain. So they weren't in mint condition. I don't know if they were going to use them as sheets or like crafts or what, but I just disclosed everything and $32.50 or $35.20. The next item is this music box. It's um, a Swiss music box. Box The Impossible Dream is what it plays, and it's hinged, Hummel, boy, and it works. This is what it looks like. And I sold this for full asking price, sale price of $35.20 plus shipping. The next item is, there are these candles. They are so cute. I got these at a thrift store. It was in like a bag full of like uh, Christmas, vintage Christmas stuff. And they are so cute. But I sold them for $35.20 plus shipping. And I've got less than a buck in them. The next item, Playmobil nurse doctor patient set super cute all of these things so cute and it sold for $57.20 plus shipping and it sold pretty quick the next item is this uh stratton compact and it is it's a compact it used to have making makeup in it it says made in england um it's got the real pretty uh blue and like ivory color. Stratton, you know, it's hit and miss. Wedgwood, I don't know if it's Stratton compact, Wedgwood is something. But uh, I sold it for $32.56 plus shipping. This was a long tail item. It did take a little while to sell, but I got it for at a garage sale for a couple bucks. And she actually had like a whole shelf of this blue and cream colored, ivory colored, whatever. Um, like dishes and stuff. I don't know. Maybe I should have bought it, but everything was kind of pricey. This men's blazer I sold for 44. Oh, nope. I'm sorry. I took a best offer of 38. I paid around five to $7 for this at a discount store. And it is an express men's blazer, new with tags retails for 198. And I sold it for 38. So, um, yeah, happy for it to go. The next item are these mixed lot of slot cars. I had it up for auction at $49.99. Somebody offered me $65. I did not take it. I was hoping for a bidding war because I know that these turtles and these SpongeBob's, I know they had decent comps, but I didn't know how to test it. And I didn't want to mess with it. So I just lotted it up, hoping that somebody that knew what they were doing would buy them. And I was hoping for a bidding war. So I should have taken the $65, but I had less than five bucks in all of it. So $49.99 is still a fantastic um, sale. And I hope that the person that gets them can flip them or use them. And I hope they work because I have not the slightest idea. I did show, um, I thought I showed some of the pictures of the bottom. There you go. That's what they look like on the bottom. If you guys have never seen these slot car things. They're kind of interesting, but uh, this vintage Leah Stein brooch, I sold it for $65 plus shipping. It went inter internationally. This is from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I purchased almost 350 pounds. I think it was like 344 pounds of jewelry. And if you want to know the whole story, I have a playlist called, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And it tells you the whole story and the video where I weigh everything. The next item is this Brandy Parfums Eau de Toilette. I always mess that up. But um, on my live show last night, Donatella Bodolino was saying that Parfums is more high end than the Toilette 
toilette or I don't know how to say it, you guys. I'm so sorry. But um, I don't know. Does this one say both or did I mess that up? I think I used maybe someone else's listing or maybe it said it on the bottom. Let's see. Where did I get? Oh, right there. Okay. So Brandy Parfums is the the brand, but it's a toilet tay or I don't know. I'm totally saying it wrong. But anyhow, um, this one, I could not find one like it. And it sold for $85. Is that? Yeah. $85 plus shipping for that one. So, and I probably had less than a dollar in it. It was with that vintage bulk buy that I purchased um, of a bunch of vintage perfumes at a thrift store. Just sold this one for $45. It was um, a retail arbitrage at a discount store. And it retails for $198. I took a best offer of $45 plus shipping. And I think I probably had $7 in this approximately, maybe five. It just depends because what I do is I would purchase in bulk and I would take the total number of items and divide it out by the number of, uh, uh, by the total price. So it usually would average out to be about $3, but I think in reality, this one was probably around seven. All right, this vintage Native American family dolls, Heartland Kids Core. I picked these up at a thrift store. They were $10. It was half off toys. So I got it for five bucks and somebody had just donated a whole bunch of these. And I think I got like five, four or five boxed sets. This was my last one. I have sold them all. It sold for $74 and 80 cents plus shipping. And I will tell you what a fantastic, fantastic score that was. So pretty exciting thrift store find. And that was my last one. So I'm excited. I was I just sold that today, April 30th. <gasps> oh my goodness. That's so funny because I'm telling you guys when I actually did the video. And it'll probably be June or July before I post it. But hey, that's okay. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'm going to go work on a Poshmark and a Mercari Bolo video for you guys. So... There should be some things popping up. Check out another video. Have a great night and make sure to comment. See you soon.